Wow, you are so powerful. I've heard the rumors, but Cocoon Masters really are powerful. So, you're from Cyrus, huh? Hmm. Well, now I've met two. If there's anything I can do for you, just ask me. From now on, we're friends. What? You haven't heard of him? Well, that's odd. My young friend was bragging so much. You don't know who it is? His name is Kelmar. He is strong, you know. He's my best friend. What? You're friends with him, too? Oh, so it's you. The Cocoon Master he was talking about. Well, now, it's a small world indeed. Kelmar has told me a lot about you. He said, no one is stronger than me, but strength does not make a powerful man. Strength alone is no match for what he has. Speaking of which, the power of man is so complicated, I just don't get it. Calabas? Oh, you mean this powder? My friend Yamu from the spider forest gave it to me. The only thing you'll find here in the dragonfly forest is sleep spores. If you want some calabash, why not go talk to Yamu? Yamu and his family are very fond of rare and unusual things. So if you give them something valuable, just maybe... <laughs> but I warn you, they're very greedy and won't share with you so easy. Oh yes, you can have this too. Without it, you can't get inside. Bleeding already? Well, take this. It's proof of our friendship. I'll tell you about myself next time we meet. Well, see you later. The unforgiven, the greedy, and at times like a child. Did you meet the Birdman? There are many types of divine spirits. Know you that some can be quite malicious. If we can believe Kikinok, then it is true that the Forest Man has become the fallen spirit Mamon, as told in Nagi legend. Mamon was an agent of Elrum, who drowned in material greed. This so angered Elrum that he punished Mamon by transforming him into a hideous form. It is said that Mamon was commanded to live the rest of his existence as the keeper of the divine tree. If Kikinok is the divine spirit Amos, who indulged in lust, then... Then Yamu, the forest man, must be the divine spirit Mamon, who indulged in greed. Perhaps there is more about Yamu in the folk tales of Cyrus. The old gravekeeper Poto may know something. Why not ask him about the folk tales? So, this powder is ground from the leaves of the calabas? We must go report this to the chieftain at once. This is not enough to save the entire village. You have no choice but believe what the birdman said and venture into the spider forest. You 
must go to the spider forest and find Yamu, the forest man. Much treachery lies ahead in the spider forest. Tread carefully. about it with Garai right here. Let's go outside. Go on ahead. I'll be... I'm sorry for asking you to come out of your way. It's just that it's hard to talk about things with Mother Garai around. We used to be able to talk about everything. It's strange, isn't it? Me? Well, you know I really like you a lot. It's just that uh, there's so much going on right now, you know? Why do we have to have so many rules and traditions? There's just no escape. I know some people hate the Nagi, but I'm an individual. I won't run away from them or anything just because it's hard. I might have married you because I had to, but I would never ever leave you. All we ever talk about now are the village and cocoons, minions. I know now's not the time to be worrying about these kind of things, but it's just that I never get to see you anymore. If only things were different. Your father, he's supposed to be a great man, right? I heard the story of the day he said goodbye to your mother. I heard that he was a kind man who always protected her. But how could such a man leave her? Do you call that kindness? The cursed brandings are a painful experience for a woman. But that's why I need you here with me. To your mom, your father's departure might have been an act of sympathy, but I don't agree. I would have felt betrayed. We're both in this together, so please, stay here as the Cocoon Master of Cyrus. Your mother comes by a lot while you're gone. She's really kind to me, and she might just be worried about me, but I'm sorry, I just can't stand it at all. Mother Garai may understand how she feels, but I sure don't. Purification is nothing but pain. Didn't your mother do it all because she loved your father? And then he just got up and left her because he couldn't stand to watch her suffer? How cruel! But why, even after all of that, does she still love him? Are all women like that? I can't say this in front of Mother Garai, but I really don't agree with that at all. I'm sorry if this upsets you, but I just couldn't live the way she does. No matter what happens, don't worry about me. Do your duty as our Cocoon Master. Just don't run off like your father. I'm sorry. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. But I feel a little better now getting it off my chest. Thank you. 
Oh, I almost forgot. Take this. You'll probably need it. 